Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do some easy Halloween nails. I hope you will really like it. Check this out. Yeah, there's also lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. I hope you like them all. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button to don't miss them out. Let's start! Yes, Halloween in pink. Uh, I thought it is going to be slightly different uh, Halloween design. And I will show you how to recreate this look. So it's a kind of really simple look, uh, but you know, not everyone wants to work with scary nails, so they are kind of a bit cute. We are going to use the color class gels and the paint on French gels, so I'm going to mix it. And I'm just picking up a scoop of red, actually not that much. So scoop of red. and a scoop of white. So the white scoop I will place in two places, one where I've got separate white and one when I'm going to mix it for a nice pink. And we are going to first of all start with the ombre look just on all of the nails. And for ombre, I'm going to use the sponges. So what you can do is pick up a tiny bit uh, of the product on the one side of the sponge and just dab it in. I know the tip is white, but I want to have the texture of the gel just so the blending is easier. And also so you know how to do it as well. If there is any bits and pieces like here, just uh, use the back of the nail form to clean it. So like if you've got any fluffy bits and pieces or a dust in there, just use the form to clean it. And then we are going to pick up those pink and start brushing on the top. So the stronger you press, the more product you will leave. So I'm going to the top and I'm just really gently applying it on. I don't want you to, uh, I don't want too much in there and then we decide where I've got clean. I'm just making a really nice fading so this way we already got a pretty um, pretty nice ombre and then we will just have to pigment at the end a little bit more. So I'm going to cook it and then quickly do it the same in here. Because I've got some product on my sponge already I'm using this product to really gently fade that in. Okay, same, I'm going to fade this one out. And then pick up the pink. And start blending it out. I really like the sponge technique because it's so quick. If you have made it too much, use the other side to blend it out. And then cook it. Like I think it's definitely quicker than playing with the brush, but you need to still do lots of lots of those movements um, like with your hand. Like the more you do it, the quicker the blending you will get. So normally I quite often have been doing a blending where I have done all the tip pink and then fade it like a baby boomer. That's quite a quick way to do it as well. But I just wanted to show you a slightly different way of doing it. So I'm picking up the pink again and now I'm only working on the bottom part. I don't need to do anything on the top because it's already a nice color. Same on this one. Yeah. 
and on the thumb. So just to make it a bit more pigmented. Make the fading and, and cook it. Okay, we are going to put that on the side and then paint the next part of the design. So this is going to be some spider web and some roses. I'm going to use the deliner line, de brush and the paint on French gel. So pick up a very small scoop of the product. And I suggest you start it with the spider web uh, first, just because if you, um, if you put the roses first, then you have to be very careful so you don't uh, touch it with the white. And so I'm just going at the angle. Don't want to do it too straight. And then we are going to do like a mid shape, I don't know, the joining places. They don't need to be super neat, like they don't need to be exactly the same because they have been drawn by the spider and you don't want them to be 100% perfect. And you know, sometimes the spider webs get damaged in a bit. And then once we have painted, give it a cook. You can also see with how I'm picking up the paint. I'm trying to drag it so I don't have like a blob of the product because we are going to paint a thin line so you don't want to have too much product in there. A couple more. To be honest, even just like this, it looks quite nice with a couple crystals on there. Uh, and it's, it's really quick to do it. So on the thumb, I'm just going to straight away put the top coat. This is going to be just a plain ombre. I have been actually playing with some sugar uh, school as well. I might actually show you guys as well, because that will go too with this design. Uh, so you, on the ring finger you could uh, you could also do like a wee sugar school. So you just paint a face ish and then uh, <laughs> add some studs and kind of makeup. So um, if you want, I could do the tutorial for that as well. Just let me know below in the comments, and then I could do it maybe uh, just to show you on the one tip instead of a full set how to do the sugar schools. Like you could just change the colors as well. Um, so yeah, another idea for you. Well, let's move on into the next step. 
So the roses, I'm going to paint them more from this side. And what I'm doing is I'm picking up messy red, so like really messy red, and I'm start just painting it in. In a messy way. Drop of pink, but I even didn't clean it, my brush. I think I want those colors to be see through. Then maybe one more in here. So the middle is slightly darker. And then I'm picking up the lighter color. And if you would go those uh, really messy way, um, you're kind of creating uh, different shades of the petals, which is so nice for like those kind of very quick roses. And then the last one, so much darker underneath, like in the middle. Then lighter. Okay, so this way we have created a couple of the background for the roses. My dog is <laughs> snoring. He never leave us, like he never does. And then those roses I wanted more on this side. So he, he stays here when we do the recording. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm going to watch it and see it, if it was, uh, if you could guys hear it. I am really working so messy, you can guys see it like, it is messy work. The more different shades you've got, the nicer results you will get. And then we tiny one in here. Okay, and then cook it. Okay, we have to do a few more things to make it nice and pretty and one of them is to draw a spider. <laughs> so I'm going to draw the spider actually on the ring finger, so not on this one, on the ring finger and that's the ring finger. Just so we don't, oh, actually no, I will draw it on this one as well. So I'm just picking up a drop of the black. So black and we are going to Paint those spider. So this spider, I wanted it to be here. Maybe I will make this one slightly bigger. I'm going to paint his head and the body. We don't want them to be overly too big because the person which is wearing those heels um, is not going to like uh, have a crazy outfit for the Halloween, so the spiders has to be small as well. They kind of like a wee shadow spiders. There is also a tutorial on the channel how to paint like a really, really realistic spider. You can guys check that out as well. And then cook this one in. Now we are going to do the legs of the spider. So I'm just cleaning my brush and picking up a very small amount of the product. And 
and we do anchor long legs those ones are short you can do also his face it's just two lines Then another two legs. <laughs> oh, this one is so bad. It looks like a frog. <laughs> Sorry. I just has to, I just has to laugh. Oh gosh. So I'm just going to clean it. <laughs> then touch it up. <laughs> and give it a cook. <laughs> it was a new species. Yeah, it was a new species. A sp frog spider. <laughs> it's just because uh, that's kind of a quick one. He has long legs. Okay, so we've got the second spider. And now we are gonna fix the frog. I know, we'll slap the glitter in there. Okay, we're going to cook it. He had lost his leg in a fight and then it has to heal, so it was broken. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm only kidding. Now we are going to put a tiny bit of the icicles in there. So I'm going to use the base gel. So drop of the base gel on my mixing palette some old brush and then what I'm doing is just in some places I'm going to apply the sparkles in there don't want to chew don't, don't want um, too much of it you know it's just like a wee icicles on the spider web. I think it's a cute Halloween design. Just a couple sparkle and then cook it. Same on this one. Oh, the spider. <laughs> Going to Add some sparkle in there. To distract it from the broken leg. And the last one. Okay, so we've got those cute icicles. She says last one and she puts more. Then cook it. Okay, the farm is ready. Then I'm going to put the top coat over this one. And yes, the roses are not finished, but I want them to be kind of more 3D look, so Apply the top coat. Okay. 
and then cure. Same on this one. I'm actually applying a decent amount of the top coat for the glitter to be nice and smooth. If I'm doing those kind of designs on the client, sometimes I would even buff the top coat. So like I've got the glitter on it now and I would buff the top coat and reapply a fresh top coat like to make sure it's really nice and smooth. Because they are pressed on me so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Okay, then clean my brush. So I had some black in it and I'm going to clean it in the white because uh, our brush is absorbing the products. So it is really important that we do clean it. Uh, after using the black, we clean it with the color we want to use it. Uh, so the bristles can soak in the new color. Okay, And then with the white, we are going to add the detail into the rose. So I want a very small amount of the product on my brush, like really tiny amount of the product. Paint inside and then we are painting just the same way like we would paint those simple white roses. So press it harder, give it a couple shakes. And we have already applied the top coat, so we are not going to apply the top coat again in here. We are going to keep it at without of the top coat. So we can have those three 3D look. And paint on French gel is safe to be used without of top coat. I have used it for many, many, many years in a salon on the clients. And it's lasting absolutely fine. Actually, I've got it on my nails right now as well. So it's, it's, um, it's fine. It doesn't come off. Uh, it can be also used with the sugar effect as well. Which uh, the season for the sugaring is starting soon. Winter time. I love it. Uh, always so nice. And my clients love it as well. Don't make it a too rounded, like make like keep it a bit of shaky hand, like I get better results. And then if I want thinner, I just use the product which I already have got on the tip to prolong it. So like apply the product and then do not pick up any more, but just drag the product which you've got already there. So this way you get a nicer results. Okay, so the first roses are done. It's actually cute just the way it is. So you could do just even a plain set. Like I wanted to show you on um, those two nails so you could really get hang of it. Like how to recreate this look. To be honest, this one looks quite nice uh, even without of um, the white. I hope I'm not going to spoil it. Because sometimes uh, if something is so pretty, we can just make it at worst. Like this one here. And you can see it, the lines aren't even as well. So now I want thinner. Like some of them are really thin. And some places are very thick. If you will do it this way, again, you get a nicer results. In here I can do it thicker. Inside. Of 
clean the brush and just drag the product you've got there. Yeah, and then we can cure it as well. So the paint on French gel has a little bit of the inhibition layer and I'm just going to clean it. UV cleanser and just remove this inhibition layer. And this way we've got this kind of more of a 3D uh, look to it. I actually quite like this tip, uh, turn it out nice and pretty. with the slightly bigger spider. And then this one. So when you're using a, a paint on French gel on its own, give it a double cure like to make sure it is going to stay on nice and long time with the clients doing all their houseworks and, and cleaning. And that's the set which we have created. So. Cute Halloween meals with the spider and the broken leg. This spider is nice. So we say mom spider, baby spider, and <laughs> dad spider. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks. And oh, also let me know if you want to see the uh, sugar school like. So that's obviously the sugar, sugar school. You like it. Okay, cameraman like it. So, so what we could do is, oh, we could do like, oh, there we are. And that's what go as well, like, that's what totally go as well, even more Halloween. Okay, guys, I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.